Hi everyone. We are now with Resident Evil 3 Classic and I'll be running this game with Mr. Proper 169 and Nightcast Guitar and Shiny Pockets will be commentating. I'll let you guys do it. Yo, Shiny, you can. Thanks, Aries. Thanks, Aries. Appreciate that. But yeah, as as Aries said, um, I'm joined by my esteemed colleague, Nightcast, and we're going to be commenting this lovely foray through Raccoon City. Can't wait. Welcome in, everybody. RE3 OG, let's go. All right, and we're going to do a quick countdown here. Looks like everybody's ready in three, two, one, gaming. All right, Aries, true to form, has made the excellent decision of picking special costume two, which, as I'm sure we all know, is the best one. It gives you extra ammunition, right, as well? I'm just kidding. And, and I believe it also makes you about 60% faster. That, that I've heard that as well. So, And I see Aries so, smiling, he, so he knows that's true. He absolutely knows it's true. <laughs> Ooh, but Regina costume as well. Ooh, so he's well. got some stark competition. Those are both really good skins. So naturally, the, the smartest thing to do for this spot is just to knock this guy over or kill him. He, he's very low HP. Um, classic classic Resident Evil enemies, as, as intimidating as they are, well, fortunately, they're usually not very healthy. And who could blame them? They're mostly falling apart. I don't see the timer start on my end, guys. I think, uh, yeah, possibly. Hold on. Maybe possibly a uh, weird supposed there we to be track. Nope, there it goes. There it goes. Okay. So it's gonna be it's gonna be this time shave about ten or so seconds. Not a big deal. Right. Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right, so looks like proper is gonna go grab the 30 handgun from the drawer. Aries is zooming into parking or the warehouse office. Curious to see He's the ammo to... strats as far as the powder mixing and stuff that the runners use because it's really custom on what strategy you want to use based on how you mix your uh, your gunpowder in this game. Yeah, that'll be that'll be interesting to see. It, there's also some opportunity for you to um, maybe not save time because killing Nemesis at any point is obviously a bit of a time loss. But having having the eagle for the rest of the game for the circumstances where you have to get a box room or you're very likely to get a free box room could be could be pretty decisive. Exactly. Picking up that that upgraded handgun early, I, I think, is a big help in the run, even if it is a time loss, maybe at the beginning. Yeah, it's a bit of a time trade. So we got Aries just now arriving to basement. He's gonna do he's gonna do the wise thing. He's gonna play it safe. He's got some turbos. He's gonna try and knock him down. That one was getting real. That one was looking really close. So glad that worked out. All right. Looks like now we got two basement basement E's. Aries has just about cleared the full room. Kipka. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, that was my I've cat. lost quite a few. Getting comfortable on my desk. All the oh, cats, God. yeah. The cats and the family, you're going to have to deal with that a little bit, maybe, as far as oh, the yeah. background noise. But uh, I've lost quite a few runs to those zombies coming up those stairs. I'm sure you have as well, Shiny. Oh yeah, basement is basement. No matter what type of run you're doing for Resident Evil Three, it's just one of the most unpleasant parts. <sighs> Cutting it real close there for proper. That that zombie got very very close. Okay, so we have two safe basements, one and done. Okay, so Ares is going to take down these zombies with the shotgun. He's just going to look for the headshots, play it safe. He's got a turbo chasing after him, but that doesn't matter. These guys will never wake up in time to actually do anything to you as long as you just hold W or hold forward, depending on your preference. Say hey, W? What's that? You mean up? Yes, up, of course. <laughs> Oof. Okay, Aries Ooh, nice gets the double. That sweet double hit. Yeah. Okay, looks like looks like Proper's gonna go for a little time save there. He's just gonna zoom past him. Okay, looks like we got some slightly different priorities. Oh, never mind. Oh, he's gonna look for the 
Does he get them? He gets them both. Proper gets both the ammo and the lighter at the same time. That's a big time save. Ooh la la. That said, Ares, Ares still has a bit of a lead. He's already to lighter alley. Let's see if he gets the good RNG. He does. He does not. Oof. Yeah, that's a time loss right there. Yeah, not not a huge one, but it's it's impactful. This is gonna give this is gonna give proper a little time to catch up to. Him. So now let's see if proper gets good RNG. Yup, he got it. So yeah, right here, Ares is gonna play it safe. It's not really a oh, you hate to see that. Oof. This, this game, this game's rooms have some really unusual flows to them, and there's some spots where like a wall sort of juts out. It's boundaries are strange <laughs> in this game I, to I put agree. it simply. <laughs> Yeah. Lots of situations. walls and stuff. Yeah, exactly. There's lots of situations where you're like, in what universe does this not hit? And it's in this yeah. one. So it's in this one. So. Um, All right. So we're both going at first bank here. Aries put everything away. Sorry, go ahead, Knight. I was just going to say, I was curious to see if Aries was going to start to craft the enhanced handgun ammo by making the regular bullets, but it looks like he's just going to bank everything. I would, I would love to see enhanced ammo make a make a, a debut and a no damage run, but I feel like most of these A's are doomed to get turned into C's. You're probably right in this situation I with would, the timer. Oh, hold on. And oh, it looks like they're both going to run the police station. Whoop. Totally understandable. Definitely the quickest route to go instead of trying to fight him in the streets. That's a, definitely a time loss. Right, exactly. Also, a it's also a little dangerous. Nemesis, it has to be said, is the most sophisticated enemy in the entire trilogy. Like the one, two, and three, he has so much going on under the hood. He's he's fast. He's aggressive. He's very very scary to deal with, especially in this context. And he can hit you from another dimension. Very true. He has what we call the Bluetooth grab. <laughs> So now, now everyone's favorite part. Guess, guess the code. Runners are basically locked up now. Yeah, they're they're even at this stage. Feel like can't remember the score one. What on earth? Thank you. This is up in my. There we go. Okay, Proper's gonna get the key first. He's gonna start making his way upstairs. Oh, crawler. One nice thing about RE3 is that you don't get the diving zombies like you do in RE2. Right. Those are absolutely the worst. Completely. It, it, it almost makes it where the handgun is basically a, 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 not an option in RE2. Just because of the fear that they'll, they'll go for a foot dive. All right, so... The speed... Go ahead. Go ahead, Johnny. Oh, I was just going to say, Ares is... There he goes. Okay, I was going to say, Ares is having some difficulties with this lock. It's giving him a hard time. But he's, he's, he's making up ground now. And I was going to say, as the, the difference in the speed of this game, you don't really realize unless you play RE1 or RE2 and then play this game, but the zombies, oh, yeah. the enemies, and Jill move so much faster than they do in the, the previous two games. It's, it's definitely a different change. Oh, certainly. Three, three is just such a high octane change from one and two in general, and the, you can tell it's like a pattern that's ongoing. It's it's with each one. So like two, one's faster. Two, one, three's faster than two, and then you reach four and you're drop kicking people and suplexing them. So it's <laughs> yeah. like it just it just that's the natural progression, you know. That makes so, perfect sense. All right. So proper has proper got just got mag, his. Man. Yep, he got he got the mag, and he just got his first nem or his second nemesis encounter. Looks like he's gonna he's gonna zoom out of there. Okay, Aries is just now arriving to the star's office. Let's see what he gets. Oh. There, okay. Oh, he gets a grenade launcher. That's a very big advantage. The Magnum, strong as it is, is not as versatile. Grenade launcher has a lot of use against different enemy types, and it's also easier to gain access to its ignition. And you can start mixing ammo for it earlier and using it, opposed to the Magnum, where you got to wait a while to get enough gunpowder to be able to mix up any mag. Right, exactly. Want. Very true. And you have the added bonus of grenade rounds can be combined with any gunpowder you have to just make something better out of the grenades. 
Correct. Huge advantage, huge advantage. So that said, looks like Aries is just about to head out of the RPD and we've got proper coming up on bus crash. All right, looks like he's gonna play it safe. He's just gonna KO the dogs. Both players sitting on a pretty healthy stack of ammo should be should be pretty safe for the next several screens. Yeah, Resident Evil dogs are tough, Muko, except for RE4 dog. We all love the RE4 dog, right? Everybody loves the RE4 dog. And I just prefer to shoot these dogs here in this area as well, just because, like, you might be able to dodge them 95% of the time, but it always seems like that other 5% pops up to haunt you at some point in yeah, the run. Absolutely. You run this game enough times, you'll see RNG you didn't think was possible. Exactly. Kirstwin says Souls dogs as well are good. Or bad, I guess. Yeah, this Kirstwin is, means. This is definitely, definitely a great place to, to clear the dogs. The, both rooms have a fairly consistent line, but it's never 100 Exactly. Okay, so like proper's coming up on bank two. Aries is very close behind. He's gonna clear the uh, garage dogs and then keep moving. Proper's inventory management is looking sexy. He's yeah, really so keeping look, that stuff organized. Yeah, he's definitely got his uh, his banks measured out. Looks like neither player are going to opt to grab the cable right now. They're going with the speed run route, which is functionally just you grab the cable as you're in town. He's going to go for a mag shot on this drain to most, play it safe. I always like to take that first one out, too, with either the mag or the grenade launcher, just, just because of that RNG fact that it might grab you from another dimension. Right, right. And drag you there as well. Rounds. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Okay, so he's got 10 flames in the chamber, and looks like Proper's going to go ahead and clear out Shopping District. There's the Mo Money Mo Problems sign. Right. I don't actually know what that sign says, but it looks it makes me think of Mo Money Mo Problems. It just says Mo, and then you got an M right there. <laughs> the notorious so... B.I.G. room. Let's see, Ares is going to, yep, he's going to use a flame round here, grab the red and get going. All right, so Shopping District is just now getting cleared out. I think that's the second to last guy. Yep, got one more in here. Ares is going to talk to Carlos. All right, yep, looks like he's going to take the instant route to the restaurant. And I am curious to see when they decide to start to take Nemesis down, if they're going to try to go for the uh, the handgun parts, since they didn't well, take him out of the police station. Right. Uh, to, to my recollection, there's two immediate opportunities to knock him out for free that I... Actually, three. One is here. Um, one Correct. is in the news agency, which those kind of overlap, so you can't do both. You can only do one. Correct. And then you can zap him uh, at the clock tower in exchange for getting a free goodie bag, as opposed to knocking him down and then eliminating him from the map. So it looks like... Proper's going down through the basement. Yeah, Proper's going the basement round. He's not going to nuke him. Nice booty shot from Jill. Carlos was definitely right, so... looking. <laughs> All right, so... Looks like Proper is going to keep pressing on towards the news agency, and Aries is going to take a moment to manage his inventory. So he's doing some some gymnastics in his head right now. Okay. He does not. He opts to not keep the lockpick. All right. So Proper is making movements. Is he going to get it from there? Oh, he's going to. I that that's a magic pixel if I've ever seen it. Yeah, I know, right? Small time save, but a time save nonetheless. Oh, looks like Aries is a little bit cornered here. There you go. Okay, so magic trick with uh, Nemesis. If he is pursuing you, you can just leave the room and come back enough time. 
will be some. Now, I think uh, it looks like he's going to, yep, he's going to play for walking RNG, make his way to the news agency. All right, so he's out of it. Very good. It's never a, never a good position to be in, um, having to try and tra have Nemesis trail you from one end of a, a long hallway. Um, cause he's, he's, he's very agitating to deal with. If you don't have like a perfect understanding of AI, he, he basically, if you get any distance away from him, he'll chase you. Um, Correct. there's a set distance where if he go, if you go too far, he will just start running. And when he runs at you, he has a chance to prime fast punch, which in phase one or phase two is not consistent with dodge with the dodge mechanic game. It's really, really contingent on the way that Jill is facing and how much room she has. It's it's a mess if you get into a position where he is pursuing you. You basically have to you have to ferry him around. Like you more or less have to let him yeah. try to grab you or try to hit you every so many seconds and then keep moving. Yeah, I think we've all been hit, like I said, by that interdimensional punch of Nemesis. Is he can be like the whole way around the corner and still manage to hit you somehow. Yeah, that that quick punch doesn't doesn't play around. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like Aries is gonna. Yep, he's gonna have to make this run here. Okay, he gets the grab. Oh, makes it out just before the quick punch. All right, very nice. Okay, that's that's a very, very good recovery from Ares. And it looks like Proper is just now clearing out the City Hall zombies. He's going to clear those guys. Is he going to reset and kill the other? No, he's not. He's doing the way back. All right, so now we have both players inside City Hall. Miss Proper with a slight lead. He gets dog RNG. It dogs, yep. Okay, he's going to pick up these shotgun shells. As soon as you reach the mid game in Resident Evil 3, I feel like it's the most comfortable part of the run because you got the shotgun, you got the grenade launcher, Magnum, you know, you've got all these. It's just make, basically make it where the enemy can't. They don't, they don't get to go anywhere near you. I agree. The first part of the run is definitely super duper stressful, and then you get a little bit of a break through the middle section of it. Right. And then you get to the end, and you're freaking out and running around the room with your head cut off. It's terrible. 100%. And worried yeah, about the, the nemesis acid spit hitting you from, yeah. you know, from somewhere. Right. He's, he's going to play a literal game of the floor is lava with both players. <laughs> exactly. There's, there's almost no winners when the floor is lava. Okay, it looks like Ares has the stun on this dog. Yeah, as long as there's just one, basically, generally true of any enemy in the game, as long as there's just one, they're pretty easy to keep subdued. But Agreed. you can you can get a little bit cheesed uh, if an enemy sneaks up on you or if you run out of ammo in the middle of an uh, exchange. It would be real, real messy. And then there's also the awesome uh, dodge mechanic where you're trying to shoot a dog that's close to you and Jill ends up dodging the dog and you get hit by another dog that's sitting there next to you. So you have to be aware yeah. of that mechanic in the game as well. Right. For some enemies, it, there definitely is sort of a discrepancy between how you want to play against some enemies. Like dogs, you always want to start, you want to get them subdued as soon as you can from far away. And then Correct. zombies are the only ones you actually kind of want to be next to. And same with Nemesis. Weirdly, it's like if the further Dennis is from you, the more dangerous he is. Yeah. All right, so it looks like we've got very, very calm, very collected, cool zombies coming out for proper. He's going to go ahead and clear these guys. Go in and grab the, the book first, it looks like. Okay, here he's going to play safe. The zombie's a little bit lost. There goes his head. Okay. See, that's always fun when you expect that zombie to pop out of that car and be right in your face, and he decides to go the opposite direction and run away from you. Right. He's got to go get coffee before he starts his day. <laughs> Bless his heart. <laughs> All right, so now we've got one One player has left the building. Oh, it looks like Ares is going to take a slightly different route. He's going to go stag left. And so it looks like Proper is headed back so that he can uh, turn in the... Presumably turn in the compass. Or sorry, turn in the book. He's going to go straight for a bank. He's going to ditch he's these still got shotgun shells sitting in that room. He didn't pick up yet as well. Yeah. Just noticed. That is a beautifully organized inventory. You love to see I know, it. right? Or he's getting them now. Okay, looks like he wanted to just wait and get like a mass combine, which is a very small time save, but a time save nonetheless. Agreed. And Ares gets the gunpowder in the gas station. Very nice. His inventory is nothing but gunpowder right now, basically. 
yeah, this man's he's gonna blow something up. <laughs> oh, and this puzzle. I love the water puzzle in this game. I know most people hate the water puzzle, but I love the water puzzle. I hate this gas station puzzle. See, I'm the opposite. I love this gas station puzzle, and I hate the water puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> Just because the you water puzzle I've covered. written down. Yeah, you, like everyone's, it's all different play styles. Agreed. But yeah, I don't know. It's like, I, I just get this puzzle. Like, it just makes sense to me. It's like the old Lights Out game. Uh, used to have, you know, like much, the Simon, yeah. Simon Says game that you would play with the, with the different colored lights, kind of like that. Whereas the water Bob puzzles is like a 3D Tetris or something. You know, you got to like think three dimensionally yeah. and stack the blocks up. Right. They're, they're both they're both really interesting little equations. A lot of fun. Agreed. They are fun. All right. So it's it looks nice like when now. Good. Oh, I was just going to say, it looks like now Aries is going to have to. Well, he's got the shotgun here. Learn him out. Yeah, he's going to he's going to lay him out. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead, Mike. I was just going to say, it's always fun when you're playing on the PC version and you get to the gas station puzzle and it does that glitch where it just does the beep over and over and over again until you solve the puzzle. <laughs> it always seems like it I, takes I, the longest to solve it then. Uh, that that must be on like the US version or something, because I've, I've played the Chinese version and I've seen bugs, but I've yet to see that one. That would be pretty, yeah. pretty uh, obnoxious. Yeah, it just sits there and does that beeping sound over and over and over again, but it, it must be a US version thing. Yeah, the, the Eidos version, uh, the, sorry, the U.S. release Eidos version and uh, the Chinese PC edition have some pretty stark differences, so I wouldn't be surprised. Or, excuse All me, right. proper got crows. All right. It's pretty decent RNG. It's a lot better than dogs. There's a pretty safe line for the dogs, which is... Yeah. Just that initial shock when the dogs come popping out. If you're not ready to turn, yeah. they can get on you, you really quickly. Exactly. You you need to have practiced that room or, or get reasonably lucky because you need to know the exact position that Jill's facing. You need to know where they're going to be when the, when you regain control of Jill. It's it's pre a pretty uncomfortable few seconds of energy. Agreed. Where the crows give you a few extra seconds to get turned around and find your orientation. Right. And at the end of the day, they're actually just birds. There's nothing special about them. Oh. All right. So it looks like. Aries is going to his, I think, third bank. They're both on their third bank. So they're... All right, he's going to put all this stuff away. He's going to keep the compass. And is he going to go for power station first? He looks like he's playing for power station first. Yep. All right, he's going to take it safe. Out. He's going to yeah, take these two out. I'm going to talk to Aries about that inventory. Look at that. Oh, I'm my. Telling you, man. Someone, someone's gonna have to pull up the pull them aside later, but we're, we'll we'll worry about that in a little bit. Uh, yeah. All right. So we've got one finish with Stagla, one finish with Power Station. Are oh, they both got very very? <laughs> Looks like Proper is having a proper stare down with this zombie. Yeah, He's waiting for him to gather okay. up here. Okay, so it looks like he. Got two there. He's just going to play it safe here and just KO them all. And the no damage takes precedence in this run over the time, so the runners are definitely going to try to be careful more so than try to speed through the game. Oh, absolutely. No no question about it. A lot of the... Especially either of them managed to get acided at the end. Yes. That said, RE3 does have um, multiple routes that you can take, and it looks like both players have taken routes. So this is going to be... Uh, it, it probably looks like one might be further than the other, but it, the city is very, very disorganized for uh, Resident Evil 3. There's a lot of se segments that have very heavy RNG that can add to So it's, it's pretty hard to tell where, who's where. Correct. We really won't know until they get onto the train and head to the clock tower where that's where the runs will mesh back up again. Right. Once once they make the to clock tower, everything's going to resync and a lot of the RNG for kind of gets a little... there are some spots still, but they aren't. All oh, looks like Mr. Proper is getting a visit from our boy. Yep, he's going outside. 
Jill's going to take evasive maneuvers, and so is proper. He's just going to run straight back in. Okay. Okay, he's going to take these guys out, and... Proper didn't grab the oh. grenade launcher, did he? Oh, oh, oh man, that oh, was a good... No, I don't think he did. Maybe he was planning on doing it after this event. Oof. He... I'm not... I haven't seen his strategy before. I'm not sure what he's up to. Ares, Ares is going to get the Magnum. Looks like he struggled on that puzzle right. a little bit. Yeah. So I'm wondering what the priority Oof. is for Proper here now. Yeah, he's playing this very dangerous game of Peekaboo with Nemesis. Okay, looks it looks like, like he was trying to get the Magnum, but now he's just going to give up on the Magnum and go. Well, I think I think the best if if that is his goal, I think the best thing from back. Oh, yep, he is coming back. Oh, oh he man! Okay. No, he's trying to sneak in through the back door, but Nemesis is not having any of it. Oh, very oh, very my. dangerous. There is a there is a trick um, that you can do to make Nemesis. Oh, there it is. All right. Well, there goes there goes one bonk. Uh, there is a trick you can do um, to get Nemesis to go away. If you leave here and go back to the save by the parking garage where you pick up the cable, um, he'll disappear. So you could actually just leave and come back. Uh, okay. Yeah. See, he's still dealing with them out here in the streets too. Now that's very. He he must. That must have been a misplay somewhere because it didn't. It didn't look like that he meant to. Put in position. Yeah, that's I very unfortunate. He, he forgot to get the grenade launcher when he was in there. And exited the room. I don't know. Well, I'm I'm even wondering if maybe he he didn't pick the correct option on accident. Uh, just because it, usually from from what yeah. I've observed is is when people pick that one, their option that that's the runaway option just to leave. Like if you got grenade launcher RNG and you don't care about the bail, because it, yeah. it is safe to just run straight out of the room when he drops down from the roof. Because it's it's kind of like when liquors wake up, like they have to activate for seconds. Like, so definitely, definitely seems like there could have been a misplay there. Yeah, yeah um, I'm, that's, I'm so that's, thinking maybe you're right. Maybe he chose the wrong option by mistake, just in a hurry. Just you're mashing the button yeah. and you choose yeah. the wrong option. Exactly, and and there's there's no shortage of just mashing because evil three. Thank God, nearly all. So it looks like proper is on his fourth bank, fifth bank. And he is probably going to follow suit with what Aries is heading right now. Aries Which, got the hose. I think proper might actually have a bit of a lead on Aries at the moment because he is already. Oh, no, you know what? Because Aries already did Stagla. So. No, no, Ares, Ares might have a small lead on proper at this point. Because Stagla is, um, you, you can pretty easily hit it on the way back, but if they're both going there now and he's done it, then that means that he'll make it, he should make it the clock tower, or the train, rather, before a proper does at this pace. So I think he might have a slight lead. Yeah, Ares definitely made up some time whenever a proper was having to deal with Nemesis there in the power station. Right, right. Ares lost a little bit of time in the RPD, and Proper got into that kind of standoff with Nemesis. Just about to the 30-minute mark of the run. Both runners are making really good progress. And so far, only a single hit between them, which is, is a pretty big feat in Resident Evil 3. This game has a, a lot of shenanigans it can pull out. Ooh, there's that oh. dodge mechanic. There's the, yep, you, you've Pretty much always got to make sure you're in a position where you're distant. If you do that jump, your your dodge frames are going to take. Pro right, it's very yeah, unfortunate. Yeah. That's two hits. Two hits for Mr. Proper now. Very unlucky, but, when I, but I mean, it happens. When I first started running this game, I ran RE1 and RE2 first, and I got used to letting the dogs get on me before I shot them with the shotgun. When you do that in this game, 
you'll get what happened to proper is Jill will dodge sometimes and she dodges right into another attack. So she does have she does have a very brief period of when she is doing some of the dodge animation. Or not two ever, I should say. But like that room in particular, when you come out of that door and there's all three of them in that hallway in that little corridor if she dodges you're pretty much done right yeah and it's always uncomfortable if you get dog rng dogs are correct they're fat they're fast they're they're kind of unpredictable they're not unpredictable not easy to account for um, they're a real hassle oh, everyone's favorite is it saf spring everybody saf spring for oh, both of them i believe <laughs> it was saf spring <laughs> um, that's pretty fun all right so both are making their way into the Gunpowder B for Ares in here. Both both runners actually proper got six gunpowders in here. That's gonna be tough to bank all those in his inventory. Yeah. <clears throat> he does not have the. Um... Oh, but you know what? He's gonna he's gonna be able to. And there is gonna come a point. Yeah, it looks like that's. Oh. Mix one. There you go. Oh, he's gonna. Okay, mix I see. I see what he's doing. Okay. That was the hard, one of the hardest things for me, too, when I started running this game, was trying to figure out how to manage my gunpowder um, with the RNG that they give you, because the gunpowders yeah. can spawn in multiple locations and mess up your... So there's no set run you can take in this game, really. Right. You're you're likely to get RNG at time. Now, fortunately, that does get short up. How difficult... Uh, just because you get access to the side pack pretty quickly. Um, but That's yeah, correct. Up until that moment, it's it's pretty uncomfortable measuring out what what you're going to need and when. Especially if you're going for enhanced handgun bullets early, you know, trying oh, to uh, to save all the A's, try to get all the A's to get that enhanced ammo as quick as you can. But that's usually in like a kill all bosses type run. Sure. All right. So it looks like both players are exiting the pharmacy. Ares is the first one to meet back up with Nemesis. Nemesis is going to display that he is upset, break this <laughs> wall. All right. Now, Nemesis is only going to appear for Ares because Mr. Proper on his run already visited the uh, power station, and so he got an earlier... That was, that was his second visit by Nemesis. Or I guess third, if you count um, RPD. And we got two hits for Mr. Proper, Scorekeeper, one from Nemesis and one from the dogs. And uh, as, as far as I'm aware, no hits from Ares. Very, very soon. Yeah. yeah, I've not seen Ares uh, take one yet. And then they're both going to grab the cable here and then get the worm cut scene. And unless you're speed running, what you choose here really doesn't make a difference. It just takes more time to climb back up. If you go, if you do the jump down option, right? You get worms and down there. There's like three worms or something. Truly, this one was kind of a missed opportunity. It feels like they had, and then they were like, "Well, we can't do that anymore." But I guess because it's like, in what universe would you need to make the decision? Do I get these boxes to base? Or not? Like, I mean, like there's almost no, there's almost no circumstance that would be better to drop down, but. <laughs> Yeah, unless you're doing a kill all, that's the only reason I've told that you should drop down there is if you want to do a kill all run. Oh, like if you were to kill every enemy, right? Because you can get Correct. spawns down there. That's true. You get yeah. I think those worms will spawn down there, like three of those little worms, and you just shoot them, and then you climb back up. But I think right. you're right. I think maybe Capcom had some other ideas for that part, and they just didn't didn't follow up with it. Yeah, considering how advanced a lot of the other events are in the game, I I suspect that may they're like, well, we've got these rolling something <laughs> yeah it just magically like at that moment decide they're gonna slide out of the back of the truck of course maybe maybe they had a surprise party event planned where nemesis just from boxes and i'm curious to see if the runners are gonna fight gravedigger in the first encounter to try to lower his hp or if they're just gonna push the switches and climb upstairs and deal with them i think he has 800 hp if you don't fight him the first time it's like 600 if yeah, uh if you do fight him i believe that's right so basically if you if you fight him in the city yeah like like knight just said it'll affect his and i think it would probably be a huge benefit 
here, um, just because you can basically kill him in a single cycle um, when you fight him again at the graveyard. And that, now, not to be understated, um, Nemesis is basically postured already far away from you. So Prime has um, And so you basically just have to hope that you get decent non-quick punch oriented RNG or that you are uh, postured in just right a position to get past. Proper's now just and, heading to the gas station. Yeah, and gonna... Ares is in. Let's see what Ares does here with the worm. Okay. He's going to fight it. Six acid rounds to the face right here. Acid rounds will stun him every time. Yep. That's a pretty, pretty really, simple fight. Yeah. Just wait for him to really? pop out and shoot him. Yep. Simple. And there's really no reason not to. You know, that's a huge benefit. Uh, oh, one hundred percent. He's much more dangerous done. in the graveyard than he is here in the whatever you'd call this, the sewers. Right, right, absolutely. All right, and there you go. It doesn't even really take that much time. Ares is already making his. So he is going to be headed out on the train car here shortly. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Looks like. Looks like Mr. Proper has a bit more of a... He has the gift. He he can solve this puzzle somewhat quickly. Yeah, he got through it much quicker than I normally do. Completely understandable. I think a lot of people struggle with that puzzle. It's kind of weird. All right, and it looks like Mr. Proper is right behind Ares. Yeah, he's maybe only... 15 or 20 seconds yeah, behind yeah. in actual time. <clears throat> nice dodge right. there. Those dodges are very, always very scary. Dodge. Yeah, they really are. Because he can just run up and sideswipe you. Yep. Right. Yeah, this no damage run is not for the faint of heart. No, absolutely. All right, so now Proper is going to do the worm fight. And let's see if Ares is going to jump out of the train or hit the brake. He doesn't trust Carlos. He's jumping. Yeah, he's like, Carlos didn't figure out how to work the brakes on this thing. I don't trust him. <laughs> Here. It says like brakes. Um, like <laughs> Jill rebuilds, he, she rebuilds the whole train car, and then she lets Carlos run the train car. It's like, get out of here. She lets him run it directly into the ground as well. He hates his... <laughs> All right, and so it looks like both players... The worm. Yep, both players are going to elect to, to bully this poor worm. And you can't really watch the worm without thinking of the great movie Tremors with Kevin Bacon in it, right? Oh, of course. You've got to keep the graboids in mind at all times. All right, so Ares is making some grenade rounds. And it looks like Mr. Proper got to hop on the train. Do a mind thrower. Stuff. Yep, mind thrower, God bless it, is just not that relevant a weapon for a lot of the no. game. Um, it's more it's of kinda, a fun kinda, weapon. Exactly, yeah. It's like the, um, I feel like such a ditz. I always forget the name of it. What's the zap gun? Nari 2. Shot. Um, oh. it's, like, it's like the spark shot. Yeah, spark shot. Because you, you really, it's cool to have, but there's no real incentive. Because it's, it's unyieldy, it takes up a lot of slots. You can, you, it's just one of those. I, I agree. Unless you're just shooting zombies for fun with the mind thrower, it's, there's not really a reason to pick it up. Pretty much, yeah. It is a, it is a very for fun weapon. Kyle's getting wrecked for the second time in a minute. Bless his heart. <laughs> Get off my train, shit bird. <laughs> He's gonna look at all wow, that gunpowder. Gun hey, gun I just, I just looked over. <laughs> He's, he holy he's crap! Start, he's starting a shop. He's got a two for one special going. So Air Race is gun shop. He'll be an RE nine. Yeah, Aries, Aries powder A, B, and C emporium. Where's A emporium from the looks? <laughs> he's got so many. All right, so Let's see if he makes enhanced ammo for the clock tower fight. I think that's what he's it looks doing. Like he is. 
Yeah, that's what it looks like he's up to. I believe you can use these you have to do. Uh, seven and the eighth mix will give you the uh, there it is. Okay, he's yeah. only gonna mix two, but they they okay. multiply each time, so now he's got an excess of handgun bullets, right? Very, 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 very good choice. Um, just because of the fact that you can you can very easily stun Nemesis, uh, if you quick shoot with the standard handgun with enhanced ammo. And you can use the grenade launcher on the clock tower fight, but Nemesis can sidestep some of your grenade rounds, and he can't do that with the enhanced handgun bullet, so... Exactly. Luckily, pretty much every spot in the game uh, <clears throat> where you could have to encounter Nemesis, there is also a spot where you can get him hung up on something, get him stuck. Um, yep. So I'm interested to see if Warner Bros. are going to take advantage of that. Possibility at each at the clock tower fight. Oh, Aries has got the enhanced handgun bullets loaded. Neither player has the uh, enhanced handgun though yet. Uh, no, no, no. So the um, the eagle. Um, I don't think. I think. Yeah, the eagle can't hold uh, enhanced rounds. No, so I think it that's cannot. maybe why they. And that's why they both elected. Yep. Okay. So it looks like Aries empty. Um. Let's see. It looks like Mr. Proper may be going for the which I I apologize. I missed it. Did he jump or did he pull the brick? I missed it too as well, so I do apologize on that. Well, either way, um, if he chose... Oh, that is so Oof. unlucky. So, uh, just, just for a bit of context there. Typically, a flame round will immediately kill a drain to us or a but the way that enemy HP works in Resident Evil 3 is there are 10 different values. And whenever you enter the room, the game will pick one of those 10 values. So if they get the highest possible RNG value, they can, they can tank one, one red, and then they won't die. So basically, you're just in a position, kind of like an RA2, where if you shoot a liquor and it doesn't die to an acid. like the whole zero hp thing right they can get down to zero hp but they're still alive until exactly. you put one more round or knife slash into them it's exactly. a weird mechanic for a game that you can be dead but not dead right zero hp completely fine so that room <laughs> that mr proper just left is a very very uncomfortable room this late in the run um one or more of those zombies can uh can turbo and it's a fairly consistent line to get out but it is Really uncomfortable. We got one more hit for Mr. Proper for a total of three now. Okay. Looks like both players are just now getting through the uh, the guard through the top tower of the clock tower scenario here. All right, he's going to go ahead and do the music box, see what Aries picks. He's going to knock him out. He's going to play it safe so he doesn't have to deal with him for the rest of the encounter. Oh, these freaking spiders here, dude. Yeah, spider spiders are always just really uncomfortable. They're usually safe. Looks like Aries is making it to the green door. Let's go and do the... Oh. Okay, so he is going to take out these zombies. And the acid is the best weapon to take the spiders down with. That's the only weapon that'll make them not spawn the baby spiders. And the baby spiders in this game are vicious. They are super fast. Right. That's it's the big is it will it will have okay, so it looks resets like... the room. I think he reset the room there just to reset the position of that last spider. He wasn't resetting that's, it that's... to clear baby spiders. Right, I believe that's correct. Because that last guy, he's pretty inoffensive. He's kind of just hanging Yeah, he'll just hang out on the ceiling there most of the time. You just run right underneath them. Right. This is my Very... least favorite puzzle here. It's this stupid ball puzzle. Yeah, this is another one that I just have like a cheat sheet with all the solutions. There's like 10 of them. So it's, I, I don't <laughs> know. Right. Same with water puzzle. Gun to my head, I have no idea what this is. But you, you give me my computer, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how the puzzle works. I know it's based on the start time of the middle clock, but like you said, there's like that, 10. I usually just would do like process of elimination, just start with the, them all in one sequence and just keep flipping them around until I figured it out. Yeah, pretty much. I think um, everyone's first playthrough, that was that was kind of what they expected. All 
All right, so it looks like now Proper is going to catch up. He's going to do the same strat. He's going to down. See how that guy, see they both died in one acid round? It's like, that's just, it's just luck of the that's draw. Perfect. Even yeah, their, that's perfect. Even the... their HP is RNG in this game. Because they can give you those bumps that deal like one or five points of damage where they just come like flying at you. Right. They do that. They do that thing cats do where they bump their head into you and it does like <laughs> yeah. one point of damage. I know all about cats knocking stuff off of my uh, my desk and stuff in my house for sure. Oh yeah, I'm oh, sure yeah, you do absolutely. as well with your kitty. I was gonna say you guys, yeah, you heard it earlier, He's knocking my controllers <laughs> over. Yep. Little troublemaker. All right, so all right. here we go, clock tower fight, right? Yeah, uh, looks like Ares is gonna be the first one to clock tower nemesis. He's going to get rocket nemi because he jumped out the window. He's going to play straight for the back. He's just going to run into this corner. Nemesis. All right. And you need to get him to very, shoot very all five of his rockets before you can actually get him set up. And right. he's locked in. Great job. Very good. All right. So that, that should cover it for uh, Ares for the rest of the fight. Basically, he can just keep him repeatedly stunned here. Okay, that's fine. There we go. All right, that's cycle one. Now, the way Nemesis gets up is when he stands up, he will take one step. So this should be a pretty clear and easy uh, takedown for Ares. Can take about three more shots. Oh, there we go. Yeah, once you get him locked in there with that enhanced ammo, he's he's done. It just takes a little longer. Yeah, if, if you can get Nemesis hung up on a wall and the wall is too to Jill's right, he's won the fight. As long as you can keep him stuck. All right. So First going back like, to the box. Yeah, Proper's rearing up for his his fight as well. He doesn't looks have like enhanced damage. Yeah, it looks like he's going to play for the freeze round angle. So let's see. Let's see what he gets here. All right. Hey, Carlos, uh, Carlos, Carlos down here. There he is. Yep. He's going to play this part really, really slow. There's a line for the, the line up even a little. It's going to be a bad look. So he's going to play this part safe. And you do get a lot of ammunition, Carlos. Like, Carlos is a, he's a, he's a tank, too. Like he's, he's just, he's got what it takes <laughs> to, to clear yeah. this. Yeah, if, right. if you don't kill all the hunters, which you don't need to kill a lot of the hunters in the hospital with uh, Carlos, you can you have plenty of ammo to kill those zombies at the beginning there. Oh, yeah. All right. He's going to play it safe here. He's going to take down the spider. Looks like the assault rifle doesn't spawn the baby spiders either. Yeah. Which is interesting, be honest, because, like, the mag yeah. will generate the, the baby spiders. Proper's got yeah, him locked. Oh, he's Oof. gonna take one missile. Alright, he's gonna... Oh, I see. That's what his plan is. So, whenever you hit... You can tell it's kind of indicated sound. Uh, whenever you tag Nemesis like that, when he's firing, it will... He'll miss, is the deal. Um, there's a small chance he can still reduce that, a little risky, but um, that ultimately, uh, it's it's another viable strategy. You can quickly take down rocket number. Yeah, if you do it right, he will shoot over top of your head and not not directly in your face. So we have one more hit for Mr. Proper for a total of four. And speaking of hits, it looks like Ares got poisoned. It does look like Ares just got poisoned. So one hit for Ares. And I don't remember gonna... exactly where the group, where the blue herbs are for Carlos in this run. Unfortunately, I believe they're in the main hall of the RPD. Not the RPD, the clock tower. Like, there's like a little bushel of them just on the ground you can talk to. So he'll get an FAS in here in the one room that he can help to raise his HP back up to get him back to that location. Right. So yeah, we're at, was it four? Um, four hits? For proper, four for Mr. Proper. Okay, so four for proper and one for Aries. For Aries. Aries is back. Or no, excuse me. Proper is making his way out. Yeah, Aries grabbed that FAS. 
Okay, and looks like he's got the drained most RNG. Right. There's the blue orb for okay, there is one in the hospital then. There we go, okay. God damn Nathaniel Bard. I couldn't remember if that <laughs> one on the shelf was a was a greener. I knew there was one there, but it escapes me. This oh, is actually man, the that... preferred RNG for Carlos is the brain it's the drain demos over yeah, the spiders, absolutely. I would say. Absolutely true. You, you in almost no con. As long as you let them They're... fall off the ceiling, if you shoot them off the ceiling, then they will jump at you. But if you let them right. fall on their own, then you just stun lock them on the ground. It's not a problem. Right. All right. So it looks like Proper is going to take take down some of these zombies. He's now also to the hospital. Here he's just clearing out the fourth floor. So he's going to go ahead and grab the sick room key, grab the vaccine, and probably bring the key next Fun fact, if you play this game on the hard difficulty, you don't get to see that hunter decap that zombie in the hospital. You see the animation, but you don't see the head actually fall off the zombie. Sensor I'm not shit. sure why Capcom programmed it like that. I know, right? <laughs> Can't show a decapitated zombie. Come on, he's already dead. Right. Like Ares got so, good RNG, speedrun RNG on the puzzle here. Yep, he's gonna insta get this uh, this vaccine and then head his way down to the basement because he already got the vaccine. Already got on the fourth floor. He should have been empty bottom floor. All right, looks like proper got the same RNG. Get these zombies like Christmas. Okay. And really, there's no way around them. You just basically got to shoot these zombies. Yeah. There's no much. reason to really dodge to try even try to dodge them. Yeah, it's a you're you're playing a really dangerous game. Together. Oof. Oh, very, very scary. scary. Kissed by a hunter. Right, he's gonna pop that explosive shell there. All right. Good RNG like, uh, on that room as well for proper. Yeah, he might have got the best RNG. Let's see. Let's see if he gets zapped. Yep. Yeah, uh, the wrong one. Fifty percent <laughs> chance you got room. right there. I hate, uh, I hate that room. You, you, yeah, yeah like too. I just which RNG you've got. What what side of the room it's meant to go on? Because the the table will be facing, or the the Correct. shelf will be facing the way that. It, pushed away from. um so basically he he had like a 50 50 chance to get it and if you don't get it you just get uh, and that doesn't cause any damage it just knocks you back right it just hurts your pride not your health bar <laughs> yeah exactly it hurts your pride it's like shit i gotta reset the room and do this all over again right if you're if you're speed running you're just reset the game which is the worst yeah. part right, and so based now... on the code that you get from the the doctor you can figure out what what the spot is that yeah. you actually need to push it if you really you know, I'm sure that's what the speed runners do that's that's correct you can you can if you're if you're going for a really competitive time fortunately but if you if you go in there um yeah while having visited the previous room first uh, you can read the slip that the doctor has on the and based on that number the code for the safe it will let you know what position in that room there is the most dangerous part of the run. There's a bomb. Get out of there. Oh, my right, God. And the hunter chasing you. It was very, very close. I was sweating. All right. These hunter gammas are going to pop out for proper. Most of the time, they won't hit you, but they still are scary as heck when you're trying to get out of this room quickly. Yeah. Luck luckily, the, the gammas here are pretty pretty tame. You, you can, Like you just said, as long as you... Yeah, unless but, you walk into the, you miss the pixels for the door, you're not going to get hit. Right. But every once in a while, you'll mess up an input or something, and that second hunter gamma will get you. You're right. The panic mode will turn on. You got it. 
Okay, so it looks like proper nails the line now. It's gonna make its way back up now. All right, and looks like we've got Aries back in control of Jill. Is our time right now? Is... Just under an hour. All right, looking good. We're dropping you a little bit shiny in the commentary. I don't know if, if maybe if a reconnect would solve that problem. Oh, uh, okay. Hang on. All right, Aries, nice dodge. There. Pretty easy dodge, as, as long as you don't run directly into uh, Nemesis. Lovely people, can you hear me? Ah, uh, we can hear you. Yes. Very good. Okay, well, perfect. All righty. So. Yep, now we got proper leaving the hospital. The Aris has a couple, probably a couple minute lead now, I would say, yeah? I would say he's he's got a pretty fair lead, for sure. Ooh. That was damage right there from the barrel. That's unfortunate. Aris, uh, yeah, that is unfortunate. So that's another hit for Ares. I was wondering why he wasn't going to use the barrel to clear those zombies. I don't think he intended to do that, but it looks like the flame round set the barrel off. Yeah, so this that's, run that's is it's still competitive. Yeah, yeah, no, we've got we've got two players with hits, both making moves. So let's see. Uh, and and there's still definitely opportunities uh, for Proper to make up the time. There, there, he's not that far behind. Correct. So the park has a lot of RNG in it. What you get, basically, the first three rooms, I think, are RNG on what enemies you can get. Right, you can get hunches in here, or you can get worms. Talk about the worms. The worms are the freaking worst, I thought. Aries got hunters. I, no, he got worms, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, personally, I prefer worms. I think I think both are somewhat inoffensive, depending on the route you take for the... Uh... Yeah, okay, so Aries got the worst RNG here. Technically, you you want gammas for this room. It would seem like they're more problematic, but really, these guys just waste a lot of time, and they're a, a lot more dangerous to kill. They also consume more ammo to deal with, if that's your plan. And there's got hunters in this room. This can be hunters or dogs. Yep. Once once again, I prefer hunters. I hate dogs. <laughs> they're yeah. so much worse to deal with. The hunters come directly to you if you just stand there and wait, whereas the dogs, they come in like two or three different waves. There's, what, four dogs that come out of there? I believe so. There should be two right by this side of the room, one asleep, and then one by the exit. Yeah, like like three or four total come through. And they, that's a time waste as well. Right. Okay, looks like Aries has got the cabin key. He's going to make his way back. All right. Proper's going to KO these two zombies. Let's see what sort of RNG he gets for the park. He's got the worms as well. Both our runners have worms, chat. Both our runners <laughs> I was just gonna say the same thing. <laughs> but the runners have got a case of worms, y'all. And he got zombies. Wow, okay. They're playing on the same seed. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna, first gonna let that here. zombie get really close. Yeah, he's gonna let You can blow these zombies. Right, you can blow these zombies in half in this game like RE2 and they'll continue to crawl at you. Sort of. Should, um should you know can that. you can you can shoot them in the uh in the legs and they'll and they'll crawl you or you can kill them and then instead of dying they will be at one hp and they'll either lay dormant or they'll crawl towards you okay and got worms there that can yeah, they're always worms that fall right there it's the way back right where you can get worms or you can get spiders or for which room when you're climbing back up after you defeat the grave digger the second time you can get worms or spiders in that room but it's always worms that fall down that ladder Oh gosh, gotcha. Aries yeah, yeah, yeah. just went up there. That's right. What do you mean now? Sorry. Uh, yeah, that's, that's that's correct. All right. Let's see. So, Aries, Aries is a little overprepared here. He's got enough. He's got enough acid rounds to kill three worms. Yes, he does. 
And really, so, after man, the after this fight, you don't really need acid rounds for the run anymore. Correct. It's pretty. It's pretty much the major point in the game that you need them. Proper right. messed the puzzle up. He's gonna lose a little bit of time right here. But the sign there on Jill's right is actually not the solution to the puzzle. He messed the puzzle up again. He's going too fast. All right, let's see. Let's see if he nails it on the third. Third time's the charm. Yep, yep. There you go. There you go. So the actual solution is on the other side of the pool, right there above the... Right. Above the outlet or whatever you'd call that, the, the ladder there. Yeah, all these ones on the on the right there in that little program are not actually good for anything except for if you want like a fun little fountain show that was kind of a cool little trick that capcom played on the players as far as hiding oh, that Ares, yeah, oh, sure. Ares just got hit by the worm oh, Ares misses the one cycle gets yeah he's gonna eat one hit there yeah this is a tough little uh tough little fight with this worm in this confined area yeah it absolutely is oh my goodness that's Aries is, is playing this very manly. The total three nice hits now for Aries. Yep, and this should wow. I think he's got a ghost shell, which is that, that's a bug that can happen in um yeah, in two and three when you quick shoot, is it can just eat a grenade and nothing happens. I've been told that you can't actually kill the worm until the worm is fully exposed out of the ground as well. I don't know if that's that, true, but he does take shots. That is true. He he has um the the worm is coated super weird. He's got like twelve different armors in the room with him that will eat damage in a, in a situation where he's not supposed to be damaged. Okay. So like it, it's it, I'm not going to go into it, but basically the gist of what is if what I was getting at there is you are correct. He he can't die until he's completely out of the ground. Like if right. he does so like a, like a, like a zero, right? He'll his health his health will stay at one, and he won't go down. Okay. But yeah, that's that's the deal. If you if you hit him while he's doing like his chomp, like where he jumps out of the ground and comes back, um, he'll take damage, but he won't drop below one. You can't kill him until he's like floating around outside with Jill. I'm gonna assume that's due to the death animation of the worm itself. It has to be fully exposed to start that animation. It probably does have something to do with the fact that he's locked in an animation something else. Alright, so the hits, we got four for proper, three for Ares. Alright, it's this this game is looking pretty close to tied up. Like we've got yeah. obviously like a, a fair time lead for Ares here. He's just not making it to the factory. Um but yeah, I mean it's it's still anybody's game. We've we've seen a lot of shenanigans happen in both runs so far. So That's already three for you. Yeah, absolutely. This is what I was saying earlier. Is it's it's like oh, it looks like one person's ahead, but it's like well, they have different shenanigans to deal with most likely, so yeah. it, it could go either way. Let's see how proper handles the worm. Well, let's talk about worms. All this talk about worms. Always handle your worms properly. All right, so let's see. So he's gonna go for. He's gonna immediately start firing those acid rounds. I think he's got two more left and you should get the one cycle here. There we go. All right. Very God. nice. That was beautiful. Outstanding. All right. So now he's going to make his way up. So it was a way faster worm fight than what Ares had. So he, he's made up a lot, a lot of time with that one cycle. Correct. That's a big, big deal. This so, ladder right here is the one I was talking about. You can get spiders or worms when you come off of this ladder. Right, right. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Well, it look, luckily, it looks like both players have got worms. God bless them. Yeah. I always preferred spiders just because of these jumping worms in the water can sometimes get you. Worms worms are one of those things where, or really I should say any enemy is one of those things where if you if you aren't like intimately familiar with what their AI like makes them do, like how they pick what to do, it, it's very, very scary to deal with them. But yeah, like worms. Is having some trouble here? Oh no, he's good. Oh, God. He's good. Then yeah. that doesn't cause damage. That's just stun. But it took him like yeah. four or five tries to get that get the button pushed. It can, it can be a little awkward to get the box. It's it's a really specific hit box, and uh, you know, it, it, trying it for a little bit, you'll you'll definitely get it. But it's it's really awkward to hit on like the first attempt because you are going to be doing it basically while you're stunned. Correct. All right. 
right, so now we've got Aries got the Mo disc. He's gonna make his way down to the water sample room. Okay, and Proper is just now crossing the bridge. Let's see if he's going to drop down or kick Nemesis. He's gonna jump oh, off. He's he's a drop downer. So now he's gonna head up. Make his way in for the the Chadliest cutscene that Carlos gets to be a part of. And by jumping down there, you actually trigger the best ending for the game with Barry. If you decide to push Nemesis off, you won't get Barry saving you at the end. Yeah, there are there are a bunch of seemingly unimportant events in the game that actually have a fair impact on the outcome. Exactly. All right, so There's shot the worms in the water. Okay. Water and puzzle time. Like we've got Yep, we got both players moving in on the water puzzle. This is actually going to kind of tie them up um, yeah. because there really isn't a lot for for uh, proper to do when he goes upstairs. This is this is technically the more optimal route because there's no there's no doubling back. Essentially, come down here. I mean, well, that's if he doesn't want to grab the rocket. Uh, Aries, the key that Aries is using right now on that that little machine there uh, is going to enable him later to go and get a free rocket with four shots. Uh, from the attic here in a bit for the final nemesis fight which i i suspect he's probably going to use because he did the thing just now but yeah i'm interested to see what his, his strategy is i think he is a rocket launcher guy or final nemesis right this Harris is, has this all is gunpowder here he's suffering from success he is simply too yep. much that could, that's, Remember, that happens. You can get too much stuff in your inventory in this game. Yeah, that's that's just the plight of base RE3 sometimes, honestly. Oh, he's going to get a big stack of freezies right there. Yeah, he's set. You'll love to see it. It's also gonna, yeah, so he's going to get the rocket launcher. Fast. Yeah. Oh, he almost forgot the key. All right, and it looks like... All right, so we got we got Hunter RNG for proper, which is very very uncomfortable in this room because yes. you're not really in like an easy position to like auto aim them when they're down there, and they can do that, <laughs> or they'll just they'll take about yep. four steps and then they'll back step, and if you're not paying very close attention to how many steps they've taken, they can just avoid your shot as you go to make it. And you want to clear these guys out of here because when you come back through, they will they do not despawn. Yeah, no, they're they're little troublemakers. So but you can get what hunters just, uh, and drain demos in that room. I believe it's brain suckers. But brain suckers. Sorry, you're right. Yeah, brain suckers. The, the the green version of them. Definitely a new enemy. Oh, he doesn't get the headshot there. All right, he's gonna take these guys out. Gra grab this little mo disc here. He's gonna mosey on over. One benefit Dude, of using yeah. the Magnum through this game is that you can just shoot those zombies from the whole way across the room. You don't have to necessarily get up in their face to decap them. Oh, yeah. So, fun fact. Um, the way that damage for weapons is coded in this game is it's individual for each enemy. And the way that the Magnum is coded for standard enemies is it just does, like, 80,000 damage. <laughs> it's just, like, it's <laughs> to kill for anything that's not Nemesis. And the Nemesis, I think, takes, like, 70 or something. Yeah, and that's why I usually try to get the Magnum for my runs. I, it's not very good for Nemesis, but it is good for basically everything else in the game. Oh, yeah, if you're doing any percent, the, it's not really a huge time loss or like a, a huge benefit loss even if you get the, the Magnum over the grenade launcher. No. Nemesis oh. got the brain suckers. Or excuse me, Nemesis. Ares got the brain suckers. Aries is the nemesis. <laughs> yes, he is the Aries. nemesis. <laughs> I mean, just look at that guy, chat. Look at him. He's a contender, he is. All right, so it looks like Proper did the did the proper way to do uh, that puzzle. So he's going to activate the steam now. All right, power has been supplied to the system. Chicken battery. And then he's going to go down there, and he's going to join Aries in the acid room. I'm going to assume Ares is going to go with the the freeze round strategy since he has so many of them. Right. 
would be a shame to let them go to waste. So yeah, I'm, right. I'm willing to bet it's it's going to be a cold day in the acid room for for this nemesis. Okay, and then some time passes. All right, so there's only maybe 10, 15 second difference between both the runners right now. We're only one hit apart. Yeah. So this is a very close race. Yeah, incredibly close. It, 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 all it takes is one gross little acid spit in the end game to decide the winner here. You got it. Which, yeah, for, for those of you that haven't witnessed this run before, uh, this part is, is pretty consistent. So it's fairly safe. Uh, the final nemesis, unfortunately, is the dumbest, most uncomfortable part of the game. Um, where the most can go wrong, and the player doesn't. Ooh, that's Harris just got whipped. It looked yeah, like that's a he. He got he got bonked there. So yeah, now it's tied it up. I think both right players up. have seen an even number of hits, and they are both at the acid fight. This is a very close race. Okay, so Aries's nemesis is going to drop here in a second. He he missed Ash Shell. Okay, he's looking all right. It's down to one fifty. This is the last cycle. One more should do it. There we go. And, oh, he got the stun. I was very, very lucky. Nice. Proper almost suffered the same fate. All right, he's going to wait a moment. You don't want to use the acid valves in this fight because that changes the AI for Nemesis. He becomes a lot more hostile if you hit him with the acid. Right. I, I, his acid's missed. Oh, he gets yanked. Now, this technically does not do damage, so I don't no. know how we're counting it for hits. Yeah, I'm not sure either. I don't usually count that in my runs if that happens. But Ares yeah, did actually think... take damage on his. He took five, you can see from his life counter there. Right. I think I think a lot of those at those five, those freeze rounds were missing for proper a moment ago. The wall. And he has Nemesis has iframes when he's down on a oh. knee. Nice dodge. I don't know if that was planned, but that was nice for proper. I, I think he got hit there. It looked like he got knocked backwards. Did he get knocked back? So we have that's, four that's for sure for like Ares. So I think I think it might be four for Ares and then um, five, five for, for proper. Four. Okay. Uh, maybe maybe we could have somebody clip it to to confirm. But that that looked like he got hit because that's the animation that Jill does when he does the backswing. Is she'll just like fall backwards a little bit. And basically. without having audio, we don't we can't tell here as the commentators if like you know by the sound of Jill if she actually took damage there or not. Yeah, without, without an audible, ah, it's very difficult yeah, to tell. Yeah, exactly. So, so we both, got, both her side dash and her falling backwards are very similar looking. So we got at least four hits to four hits now, possibly five for proper. I, four I, keeper. I, I want... I'm not too bad on Horn. I've got a lot of hours in this game. I think he got hit there, but uh, I'll, I'll leave it to... um. We'll, we'll leave it as a four and a, a contentious five. Just so over an hour and ten minutes, uh, these runners are flying. Yeah, and it looks like Ares is on his way to the final. He just uh, just grabbed the missile and followed closely behind by Proper. Proper is going to skip grabbing the rocket launcher. Oh, no crawler! You hate, you hate to see snakes. All right. So now yeah, it's so easy to... to just try to rush through there and you get grabbed yeah. on the legs. Yeah, you you have to zombies in like every single Resident Evil. They just have so many opportunities to. You think they're not that much of a threat, and then they grab your ankle. You know what I mean? Exactly. All right, Eris into the Proper's, final fight. Yeah, Proper is gonna he's gonna negotiate with Nikolai, and it looks like Ares is going to chicken battery uh, his way to the the finish line here. There is a so, strat that you can do where you don't actually even have to shoot Nemesis at all. It is a slow strat, so I don't foresee either one of yeah. the runners doing it. Ultimately, it probably is better to just let the real cannon knock him out. Because, right, once once you, there's like that big hole in the middle of the, the big chunk of garbage or whatever you call it, uh, once that's there, if you can get him inside that little high, hallway, you can kind of just run around the Correct. outside of the Correct, he, then he's done. Right, you're completely safe at that point. You can just kind of loop him and like make him go one way, then go the other way. So here we go. This is uh, both both players are in the final boss room. Ares has got about a 15 second lead. He's already started the fight. Looks like he's going to play it safe here. Let 
let Nemesis fall around this corner. He's going to tag him with some missiles. Oh, he's going to make nice a dodge. Spin. All right, easy, easy. He is playing this very, very smart. I can see the appeal of the missile launcher now. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, danger. Oh. Oh. Crap. Six. See it. Six that's now for Ares. That's going to do it for him now, though. Uh, yeah. Once once Nemesis has reached zero HP, you can't actually kill him like this. Uh, but once he's reached zero HP, he'll base his AI more or less turns off, and he'll just mosey away from you and try to go get. He'll go, try to go chew on that tire back at the beginning yeah. of the room. And so then now the that's out of him. Yep. And then the first shot of the rail cannon will kill him. So basically, now he just has to hang out and wait for that. That's a. I'm going to take that strategy and do this later. <laughs> <laughs> really good idea. I didn't even yeah. think about that because, yeah, it's really agitating to deal with him any other way. But yeah, you could just kill him with the missile. There's no um, acid spit if you do that strat as well, or well, no, he, you know the, he, the the green acid. Yeah, there's no there's no acid spread. Like it's not yeah. just like seventy acids all over the floor. It's one single very like predictable acid that he's gonna do, and you can even tech that acid as long as he's over so much health, he'll only shoot you once. So, yeah, that's uh. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We got both rail cannons active. Ooh. Okay, right. here's like what I know. You can see this green acid hit the floor. Like Shiny said, it's like lava floor. Oh, man. And if you walk Proper over got... that, that will do damage. Yeah, probably got very good RNG just now. Yes. That was incredibly lucky. All right. And what Ares is doing now is just, it doesn't matter whether he's shooting them or not. He's at zero yeah, HP. Is just, yeah, Ares is just going to bully him since he hit him once. Or no, I think I think Ares got hit twice. So is that just about yeah. tied up? It should be, it should be a, a potential five to six, I think. So I think Ares Correct. maybe got hit yeah. more. Ares got two hits from the acid spray. Right. Or from the acid spit. All right, Ares is done. Right, yeah, that's time for Ares. So around an hour 15. Looks like Proper's going to do the lure, around, lure him around strat. And just let the rail cannon finish him off. But yeah, overall, like, wow, what a close race. Like, yeah, even, even with, with all the shenanigans, it's just Resident Evil 3 is... It's a game. It is a it's game. It's not an easy <laughs> run. Yeah. No, not at all. It's very, very difficult. So yeah, GG for Ares. Is he, is he gonna do? Is he gonna do God's work? Is he gonna give him stars? Come on, Ares. You know in your heart what you gotta do here, buddy. You gotta do you it. You know right? in your heart what you gotta do. He's gonna do it for sure. There he is. There he is. All right. Stars. All right. Very this is the only downfall well, of lore and Nemesis around is that it does take a lot longer. If you can see proper. Yeah. This six around here. But, I mean, ultimately, what you want here is is the the safer strat. You know what I mean? And, and this is this screams safe. You're on the there's a wall between you and him. That's what you want. You know what I mean? Yep. This is definitely. Yeah, and once you get to this it. point in your no damage run, you can finally like relax. You can just, you can relax. Yeah, shoulders can drop. Yep. There it is. There we go. We've got two big roasted um, nemesis here. Now it looks like uh, Ares is going to hop off on this uh, helichopper <laughs> and fly off into the sunset. Or fly off into the mushroom cloud, whatever. Yeah, wherever it is. All right, so let's see. Let's see if Mr. Proper also makes the right choice here. They're in the, and of course, there is a wrong choice, which is to leave the monster alive. Ignore it and evacuate. Please. Yeah, he oh, he did. He ignores it and evacuates. He's gonna let the nuke I, take him out. You know what? The mushroom cloud will take care of it. I just love to see uh, Jill giving out stars at any and all. Gotta give him stars. Gotta give him stars. So even with that anyway, hit that was controversial for proper, he'd still be at a total of five, yep. which is gonna give him he'd the lead over Aries. Yep, that's exactly right. So it looks like this one is going to be taken by Mister Proper. Who has, yeah, he has uh, a little bit of time loss here, but it doesn't matter. He had less hits. And that's just the run right there. Ares was in control the whole entire run until the last two or three minutes with Final Nemesis. That's just how this game yeah. can treat you. 
Yep, it cannot be understated. This is the hardest, most random, ridiculous room in the entire game. It is pretty shenanigans. 100%. Okay, so Proper did get the good ending because he jumped off, so that's Barry, obviously. Is it you? It's the Barry Burton, ladies and gentlemen. Barry Bradley Burton. I have no idea what his middle name is, but I like to think that's his middle name. <laughs> BBB, Triple B powder. Right. He's He's got shotgun shells written all over him. <laughs> but what a great race. Great job by both the runners today. Yeah, outstanding job by by both runners. That's it's very very impressive to make it to the end of this game. Even even just not getting hit like ten times like that, just not never dying would be a big deal. This is a very very difficult run. Exactly, and we got to see different strats from both runners, which was nice. They weren't carbon copy runs. Right. Yeah. That's that's one thing that's kind of a joy about this game. Even even if both players attempted to take the same route, they wouldn't be playing the same game. There's going to be exactly. at least one or more points where they get different RNG and different events will uh, can happen to each of them. All right, so let's see. Let's see the good stuff. What, what epilogue picture do they get? What time does he get? Let's see it. We got we to gotta see this through to the end, night. Yep, absolutely. See the fruits of your labor, right? Exactly. Kind of curious to see what the in-game timer has to say as well. I think Arius was like an hour 15 and Proper was like an hour 16 and a half, somewhere in that area. I think so. So we're still looking at the, uh, the mushroom cloud over on Proper screen. Arius is uh, wading his way through about 8,000 8, people's worth of credits. Oh Got man, the new games are ridiculous with credits. The credits on the new games are longer than the actual games oh, yeah. themselves. <laughs> oh wow. So apparently Ares was playing on a range. That's very funny. Um That's the US dang. layout. That's the Chad layout. Um Well, <laughs> GG's to Ares. That's uh Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's quite a bit tougher. Uh, Arrange makes a lot of changes uh, to make the game more difficult. But yeah, that's that's impressive. Very good. Talking that that sweet S rank. Yeah, I have Cardlos standing there next to Jill, making all the all the people jealous that he's hanging out with Jill. Right. It's just him. It's just him and Jill on that boat. Nobody else. Nobody else. Carlos is driving it, right? Exactly. This is the SS Carlos. Where the SS all the foxy ladies love my accent. <laughs> they could they took a while to get it fit on the side of the boat. It's a bit of a mouthful, but they made it happen. <laughs> and this is the last run of the day. Uh it, it will start again tomorrow with little nightmares any percent. I don't know what the exact time start time is. No pizza for you and new mute overload. We're gonna be running little nightmares. Oh, very nice. Okay. I don't know what that, like I said, I don't know what the time is, but after that, then we got Resident Evil 4 Professional Mode, uh, Resident Evil Classic Any Percent, and then what I'm really looking forward to is the Silent Hill Run Any Percent, and then finishing up the uh, the event here with Resident Evil Remake, Claire, and Leon Second. Is, is Ares going to be running, uh, is he going to be running RE4? Uh, Ares is the only runner doing RE4. And then we have Ares doing. But if you see Ares, give that man a big thank you. He does so so much for Team Hitless. He really um, does. He's he's an absolute so, Chad. He's, yeah. he's the goat. He does and so he, much. And he puts I have countless hours to to do Team Hitless stuff. I've I've got to jump on RE4 Hitless with Ares. I can't leave the poor man out to dry like that. He can't leave my my lonesome. Oh, I bet you he you could punch you in. You could do that run tomorrow. That'd be awesome, shiny. Oh, not the, tomorrow. The race <laughs> oh, you're not going to do it tomorrow? Oh, look, Chad, I'm calling no. him out. All right, all right, all right. But maybe maybe for the next one, we do RE4 the next, Pro. Or maybe maybe. For the next one, maybe for the next one, we'll do RE4 Remake on Pro. That'll be fun. Ooh, that's a great idea. Very, very excited for the release of that game. RE4 is... I think RE3 is probably still my favorite. RE4 is definitely a, my second favorite. So you play a lot of both of them. So we go 118 S rank as well for Mr. Proper. Excellent. Excellent runs for both players.
Everybody flood the, the old chat with GGs, if you will. Yeah, great job by both the runners. And that's just not, this wasn't just a no damage run, you know, where you can take your time. Because they were racing, that adds extra stress into the race it's, or into the run itself. Right, exactly. Both, both players are uh, being pressured to make it just as fast as the other. Exactly. Thanks, Muko. Thanks for being here, dude. Yeah, it's looking like a little bit of time's passing here. Follow both those dudes, Mr. Popper169 and Aerosorio. Definitely go show them some love. I think that's going to wrap it up for us. Yeah, Shiny? Yeah, I'd say I'd say so. Looks like uh, that was it. Thank you guys uh, so much for having me tonight. Um, I really appreciate the opt to be here. Love love doing stuff for Team Hitless. Uh, Hitless and No Damage is like a great, fun new way to play a lot of these older games. And uh, yeah, this has been awesome. Uh... Absolutely, it was a pleasure doing commentary with you, Shiny. You're a, a Resident Evil No Damage legend, my dude. So thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to do that with you. I uh, look forward to seeing you run in one of the upcoming events. Thank you guys all for hanging out with us. Uh, check the Team Hitless Discord. You get the start time for the runs tomorrow. And I will see you guys all back here tomorrow, I'm sure, for more uh, or RE No Damage. More No Damage in general. All right, very good. Well, I'm going to bow out. It's been, a, it's been a pleasure tonight. You were awesome. Thank you, man. And uh, everyone, uh, stay safe. Thank you so much. Everyone have a great evening. Yo, I'm back. Can you hear me? That's Knight explain. Thanks so much, Knight, for doing that. But yeah, thanks so much, My guys, for watching pleasure. and stay here. We'll be back tomorrow. Let's prepare for a raid. Take care, everyone. See you, Aries. Goodbye, night. Take care.